$125,000 sneaker mystery box from Request Atlanta. I cannot wait to see what's inside here. Let's go ahead and open this thing. Size 10, last sale, 16,500. Yo, this is a friends and family, Travis Scott. We've done $200,000 boxes. This might be the best. All right, so how this opens is there's a couple clasps here. We go like this, open this up, the releases. Then we have more on this side. So we open this up here. Oh, that one's off. And then we got that one right there. And I believe how we're gonna do this is the top just comes off. So let's hope that I'm, I do this correctly. Let's see how I can get this. Ready? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Am I good? Am I clear? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh man, there's a lot of shoes in there. I didn't know what to expect, but dang, this crate is sick. Let's put this to the side. Let's see what we got. Man, oh man, I can already see craziness. Let's just start off with some of the craziness here. Actually, let's grab our table, pull this over, and let's see what we got. Now, I can initially already see this is a Louis Vuitton Virgil collaboration. Now, there's a lot of different colorways, so I don't know which one it is. We've had the red before, we've had the green before, I think we've had the blue, but they have a lot of them there. So let's see, let's see what we got here. Let's first, oh yeah, oh it's the high top. We have the Louis Vuitton Air Force One and the high top. You can see with the white, it's just a light embossing there all around. Then you got gold on the inside here, as well as Louis Vuitton Air on the tongue. This one is a size seven. With all these pairs, you got a dust bag, just like this right here, Louis Vuitton Air, as well as some extra laces. These, when they came out, retailed around $2,000. But let's see the high top in a size seven, 7,215 lowest ass, last sale $4,200. Now, this is something that's not gonna be transacting a lot, so pricing is gonna be difficult to find, but this is a perfectly brand new dead stock pair. I think a good one to start, I can't complain. Look how big the box is compared to the shoe, too. That's pretty nuts. Let's keep going, Let's see what we got. Now, mm, this is, we got a whole lot of mix here. We got a Panda Dunk box, or we have a Jordan 1 box. Which one do we go for? Panda Dunks? Let's go for the Panda Dunks. Now, I'm assuming these aren't Panda Dunks. Um, if I, ooh, I don't even want to guess because I cannot, I have something in my mind. I think if I'm right, this could be, based off the box, a red October. Let's go, ooh, are these dead stock? These are brand new. Finding brand new size 10 red Octobers is so difficult nowadays and the prices have just gone insane. We have a size 10 red October. I guess the red October because there's not many like older boxes like this that are like this big and that would be worth that much money. Oh my gosh. Size 10, last sale, 16,500. Let's see how long ago that was. It actually sold in October. So, and then before that, another sale had happened for a year. So finding these in dead stock condition is near impossible nowadays. You also get the dust bag or dust bag. It's, I guess it's a dust bag. You can kind of the travel bag here, which comes with the gold aglets known for that. $16,000 shoe. Now, if you guys were to get a $16,000 shoe, are you wearing it or are you getting rid of it? Selling it, what do you think? For me, the most expensive shoe I've worn is nine grand. It was the CPFMs. I don't think I'll do that again. All right, we got another Louis Vuitton or the, we're gonna go for the Jordan 1s. Now the Jordan 1s, Jordan ones are tough. I feel like the only ones that are worth a lot are gonna be, oh, it depends, is there like a sample tag here? No, that's not a, ooh, there, is there a sample tag? I don't think it's a sample tag. So maybe it's an Art Basel. If I had to guess, it's gonna be an Art Basel. Your boy knows, I've seen too many shoes nowadays. This is, what size is this? Is this, uh, this is 11. This is my size Art Basel Jordan one. It's actually Art Basel this weekend as we're filming it. This is the Igloo colorway. This is crazy and completely dead stock. You don't know they have this one and they have the pinkish colorway. This one right here, yep, size 11, man. So on the Igloo colorway and a size 11, if you want to buy them right now, it's gonna be about $3,500. Now, I don't think these are transacting a lot, for me, the price is hard to justify. Yes, we're in a sale in seven months. The price is hard to justify to me because it is just like a normal Jordan 1 with a different color. And there's a lot of them. There's similar colorways to this. But if you're a true collector and like Art Basel, this is a good one. Yeah, the quality is just like a normal, it's like a normal Jordan 1. We are giving away a pair of Jordan 4 Nike SBs, brand new right here in a size 11, 
Rules for this giveaway are very simple. Number one, subscribe to this YouTube channel. Number two, follow me at Harrison Neville over on Instagram. Number three, leave a comment on the post on my Instagram of me holding these shoes right here and tag two friends on that post. We're picking the winner in three weeks time. That is it, very simple. Make sure you guys don't miss out on this giveaway. Super great pair and good luck to you guys. Uh, I wanna like balance out the stack. I know we got a Dornbecker, got another Louis Vuitton. Which one should we go for? So I think we should go for one off the back over here. Switch it up, not ones on the front, because we know what, what that could be. But next up is gonna be an artifact. Ooh, this is the Clone X drop. So this is the White Air Force One artifact. I have known Artifact forever. One of the guys who runs it, owns it, Zepido, Zepido. He sent me a pair of shoes way back in the day. They were like acquired by um, Nike for their technology or something with sneakers and NFTs, and I don't know what happened. They did a release. I know there's a Murakami one, and I don't know if that's what this one is, but let's see what we got. It's interesting. I wonder if any of you guys are like been following it. Let's see what we got though. We have the dust bag here with like a crate. Ooh, this is a crazy little, what in the world? I guess you could like put that around your shoulder. That's pretty cool though. It has like a nice bottom. Scan that, I'm sure it comes up with something. And let's see which colorway this is. Oh, this is the cleanest colorway. This is an official collaboration with Nike, Clone X. You have this here on the inside, you have kind of like this lightning bolt, I guess. And I wonder if you put your phone up to that, if something happens, nothing's happening. I could be wrong. They have the Clone X little lace lock right there pretty cool it's not really a lace lock but this is interesting i don't know how well these will perform because while it's an official nike thing like the quality on them is really good it's actual nice leather on the inside i wonder what the following is on these if i had to guess these are reselling for maybe like 800 to a thousand bucks so nike clone x this is the edition of 1782 thousand dollars to buy right now lowest ass no previous sales so that's what i thought it's super clean and it looks like the kith and they have a couple different kith ones like they're like this but this one's pretty interesting i like it it's this is my favorite colorway out of all of them there's like a murakami one but this one takes a cake actually let's scan this let's see what this does it's not working i can't get it to work for a life for me but that's fine let's go next let's go for another nope we're not gonna do that let's put this to the side and go for this this looks like a pristine box and it's an off-white I think, because it says Jumpman here, and being the tan box, that this could be an off-white Jordan 1, and it's gonna be dead stock. If every pair in he's dead stock, that's gonna be crazy. Uh, are these just, I think these are dead stock. Look at that, this is so beautiful. Man, I've had a cup, I've had a lot of these. I've had probably like eight to 10 pairs of these, and they never get old. I always sell them because they're expensive, especially new, and like, it's hard for me, like, I bought a pair for 1500 bucks once, and that was like, a good pair that I could wear, but they, they're so expensive that I'm like, I don't wanna wear them and ruin them. Size nine to buy it right now. 59.17, last sale 4,100. So roughly $5,000 for a brand new pair of these. And these are gonna become harder and harder to get brand new because this material on the front here gets destroyed very easily. There's no like cover on it. It's just like literally fabric. So you can already see it's like coming up. That's an incredible one. This is like, this has gotta be in my like top five all time, maybe. I don't know, that's a big statement, but let's keep going. Here we got another Louis Vuitton Air Force One. We're just gonna get this out of the way because I kept talking about it. Do we think it's high? Ooh, I don't even know the name of this colorway. This is the brand new, dang, size seven and a half. This is, an, this is like an insane color. I don't know if this is one that I would necessarily wear all the time, but check that out. You got like the metallic on the front. This is a cool hit right here. You got the LV there in the like purplish blue suede, air on the side, and the tongue is gonna be a green monogram. That is sick. You don't see many of these at all. This one is called the Black Metallic Silver, and in a size seven and a half, $7,800 to buy these right now. That's crazy. Definitely came down when they first came out, they were going insane. And I think they came out with a lot of the red, green, and blue pair. And so those ones you could get at a reasonable price because I got I had a pair of those for a while, but let's slide these over here. So we're six pairs deep. This is way more pairs than I expected. I was thinking like 10 pairs maybe, and we have way more. So let's go for the Dornbecker Freestyles. This is light. This is gonna be, this is a Dornbecker SB. Let's check these out. Ooh, check those out right there. The Dornbecker SB, got the little chicken on the back right there. So if you guys don't know, Dornbecker is shoes that are designed by children who are at the Dornbecker Hospital. And so they come out with a lot of cool designs all the time and there's been so many different iterations. This is a really cool one as an SB because the SBs are very popular again right now. And look at that, the gradient on the back. We got Joey there, shout out Joey for making these American flag on the tongue. 
and then Joey Bates. We got Joey Bates, shout out for creating this amazing shoe and being a cool person. Let's go. These ones are from 2018 and the size eight, they're going for about $800 right now. So we have another artifact and then that, from what I can tell, is, I know what that is. This is gonna be a Tiffany Air Force One. I don't even have to guess, the box is obvious. A Tiffany Air Force One, I thought maybe it was gonna be the friends and family one, which we haven't seen. Really clean pair right there. These are going for about 800 to 1,000, I believe. You have the real sterling silver on the back there in that little piece, making the retail of this shoe over $400. And the resale is obviously like double that, but a lot of people think it's funny because they put like 40 bucks worth of silver maybe on here and the retail price goes up by 200. But that's just how it goes. That fine silver from Tiffany & Co. And these are a size seven and a half. Really cool shoe. I had my pair, never wore it. I don't like all black shoes, but I get the whole collaboration. It's really sick. And then we got, oh, we got a couple artifacts in here. So it's cool. It's funny to say artifacts. Let's see what colorway we got here. Another dust bag and then this is the Murakami one. That's exactly what I was talking about. This, I believe, is the most sought after out of the entire collection. I assume most of you guys know who Takashi Murakami is, obviously known for those flowers there and that design. This is gonna be a, a very popular design because of the designs, and they have 3,815 pairs of these, and this one right here is going for about $1,350. So not too crazy, but I've, I can see why everybody would pick this one. But like I said, this is way cleaner to me. I'd wear this all day before this. This is too bright for me. So we're filled up on the table right now with nine pairs, and this has gotta be at least $40,000 worth of shoes, like seven, four, 15, six, there's a lot of crazy pairs. Seven, we've gotta be at like 50K. But let's keep going. This is a unique box. This is going to be a Bapesta, but this looks like an old Bapesta. This is going to be, oh, I don't think we've ever had these on the channel. This is Bathing Ape College Dropout Kanye West. These are incredible. These ones are used, but this is such a rare pair to come by. Bapestas were insanely popular back then. I remember growing up, my cousin wanted Bapestas so bad, I didn't understand it. But the college dropout one with Kanye is crazy. This is a size 13 as well. So this, oh my gosh, this is so cool. The box, size 13, price $212. That's crazy. What do we think these are going for? I swear these gotta be over 10K. College dropout, the craziest part about this, there's only two pairs live on StockX, one for 28,000, one for 15,000. Let's go for all. The market data shows that pairs are actually selling only really size nines from like 10 to $13,000. So it's hard to gauge because there's not many new pairs of these out anymore. Like when are the last sales on these? There hasn't been a sale on over a year on a pair of these. Not, not just this size, just any size in general. So that's pretty nuts. Dude, we have so many shoes. So many shoes left. We're probably halfway there. Let's go for an easy one right here. An easy but amazing one. And that is going to be a Jordan 4 off-white in the tan colorway. We have a brand new pair of these here now. I got finally my size and I sold the used pair. And these are still trading in the $1,000-ish range, but probably one of the better Jordan 4s that has come out in a long time. These, the SB4s, incredible, incredible shoes. We've talked about these a lot on the channel, so we won't go too, too much more in depth on there. Dude, we have the whole artifact collection. This looks like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle or a Kobe Grinch, and I love that orange hit there. You can kind of tell if you look at the leather here that the, the materials are super nice. It's a nice leather, a nice material here. This is, this one's insane. This is honestly, I like this as much as I like that one. Not as much to wear, but this is the Clone Reptile. Edition of 381. And this one right here is going for $5,000. So we only made 381 of these. They made a tenth of the pairs as they did at this one right here. And I think that, that makes sense because look how crazy that is. This one's a size nine and a half. If this is an 11. This might be a good wear. It's time for a table reset because we still have probably 10 pairs and we have that table's completely full. So we're going to line the floor with the craziness. The reset has happened. Let's keep moving. Next up, we have a replacement box here. I saw what the tag said on this and I have not seen a pair of these. It's been a long time. We've seen a lot of Red Octobers, if you get my hint, this is a Yeezy 2, one we haven't seen in a long time, the pure platinum colorway, and I think this is better colorway than the Red October maybe. Coolness factor of the Red October is one thing, the cleanness and wearability of this colorway is a total other thing. I don't know, these look like, they look probably used, but also, they actually they might not be, because with these, it's hard to tell because this is just aging on the outsole. But this is an insane pair. I haven't seen this 
in so long that it makes me want one so bad. Holy, last sale in September, $3,000. But if you wanna go buy a size nine, $10,000 right now. So whoever got that 3,000 brand new is a steal. That's crazy. I freaking love this shoe and I forgot about it. Are you taking this or are you taking this? Man, that's a really tough one. This is tough a one. tough one. That... I think everyone in the comments is gonna say this shoe right here. I've owned this 20 times. I've never owned these. I don't know if you could wear that shoe now though. It'd probably yeah. fall apart. It definitely, if it's dead stock, you can't wear it. That's the thing with a lot of these pairs being dead stock, the older they get, the more they crumble. And these these Yeezy twos, if they're brand new, never been worn, this will definitely crumble if you wear it. So at this point, it's a collector piece. All right, let's go. This box here, this reminds me, it can only be one thing in my opinion. For the, what the type of box we're dealing with, this has to be a Jordan 1 Union. And it, how do I know? It's the box. Jordan 1 Union in the blue colorway. Not the best of the pack. The black colorway, I think, is a little bit better. But these at a time were five, $600. And then they shot up to like $2,000. Absolutely crazy. And uh, this is one that has gone and Union's come out with a lot of cool shoes since then. I can't believe the shoes we have in here right now. Like it's, I'm doing this box and I'm forgetting the craziness of what's in here all at once. And what I appreciate is like I said, this is different stuff. There's shoes that we have not seen in here in years or ever. All right, this is a big box here and it's kind of, kind of scaring me. I don't know what this could be. Is this a Louis Vuitton? I have no, should I, should I try to guess? Let me try, let me play the guessing game. I can't, oh my God. I, oh wait, that is a Louis Vuitton, 100%. Look, 100% is a Louis Vuitton. It, I knew it. it comes with with that extra. Now let's see if I can guess the colorway. It off of feeling it. All right, here's the shoe. Here's the shoe. Let's see. Oh, this is probably one of the green, blue, or reds. I'm gonna go blue. <laughs> I, I, Nick, I didn't see that before. That was as legit as legit can be. I just made the craziest face. Nick made the craziest face, like. What was that? I guessed on the blue, but I could tell because of the materials. This is one of the ones that I was talking about that they, I feel like they produced a lot of them. So the prices were around three to five grand on these pretty averagely, especially this is probably like a size eight. Yeah, this one could be like a GR version, but yeah, it has a retail price on here. You guys see from Louis Vuitton, it was $2,750. And how you got these, if you don't know, is you had to be a client of Louis Vuitton. And there were some stores that got pairs like this in randomly and they would sell them to, to clients. Um, but mostly like the high-end customers who spend a lot of money with Louis Vuitton and everything else, handbags and all that, will get the more exclusive pairs. That's kind of how it went. And that's kind of how it goes with a lot of stuff with watches and stuff like that. Like the Cactus Jack AP that just came out. You only got access to buy that if you're a high-end AP client. And I know somebody that got offered that watch and uh, it's an expensive watch. It's going for half a million dollars already. Dude, there are so many shoes. We have another artifact. This is Air Force One Clone Undead. So I think the cool thing about the, these Clone X's is that one, they're official with Nike, and two, that they number them and limit them. This one's cool because it has this like weird, like shiny material. I'm sure there's more to it with uh, the information on the heel with the scanning, and I'll have to look into that, but as of now, I don't know what the deal is with that. Let's keep going. We have two green Nike boxes, which can only mean one thing. If you know the box, you know CPFM. Now, the fact that there's two boxes tells me that there's probably a platinum pair and a friends and family olive pair. Now let's see which one comes first. Cause there can't be, they're not gonna do two of the same shoe. Let's see the platinum pair. Oh man, these are good. They're really extra and they're really bright, but they're freaking cool. There was an era of these that were crazy. When you see, when you guys see these in the right light, they freaking shine. I used to wear mine all the time. I wore it to like my birthdays and stuff like that. I have not worn, I don't have them anymore. I sold them, a buddy bought them. But I'm funny, the, the buddy that bought them, he is a real estate agent. Every time he goes to a closing, he wears them. And like a, in a suit, it's pretty funny. So this one, oh, it's a size 11. Do we think my pair has come back to me? Oh, I miss these. Oh man, size 11, CPFM, Sage. This is the friends and family. Famously worn by Travis Scott, CPFM. Now these do not hit as hard as these, as far as brightness, but the colorway is just nasty. And I have a picture of these like four years ago wearing these. Now the platinum pair goes for around $3,000, I believe. Nick would trade half his collection. So 
the oh my lord yeah thirty five hundred dollars for the platinum pair for this pair right here in a size 11 last sale seventy five hundred dollars i think i paid nine thousand dollars for my pair back when i bought it crazy and they come with this as well this little like hang tag thing there but man that's some good sh look how good these shoes are dude would you just look at it would you look at <laughs> this yeah. shout out ed bassmaster okay we got four pairs left and we're gonna pull out the artifact because they put the entire collection in here and we're gonna pull these out i don't even know at this point what colorways are left we have ooh, that's clean look at that freaking shiny material with the red swoosh these are cool this is a good colorway i wonder if uh this one is a little more rare that's the big differentiating differentiating factor with these is like how many they produce this is called the demon edition 953 so somebody with a dodge demon needs to get these and whip good pair there that's the last clone x pair and it looks like we still have there's another pair there's three all right let's pull these out we got a air force one here this could be one of three shoes a travis air force one or a MCA Air Force One. It's good. definitely an Air Force One. Ooh, my, I was not expecting these. This is an M, This is not the MCA. This is the the Complex Con Air Force One. They exclusively drop these at Complex Con, and everyone's freaking out, running to them. This is brand new, size 12 and a half, massive pair. What's crazy? These are brand new, but they have staining on them because I guess that's just how they wear. The, the Complex Con exclusive that definitely threw me for a loop. The size 12 and a half. No sales ever. You can buy 10 and a half for $40,000 or size nine and a half for $10,000. These are crazy. Dude, the value in this box is absolutely insane. We've done $200,000 boxes. This might be the best. Do we think so? We still have three pairs left. So the bottom two are no boxes, which are could be something crazy. Another CPFM right here. This is a CPFM Air Vapor Max from 2019. Ah, you can find pairs of these like beat up for like 300 bucks now. People like pop the uh, the air bubbles there and they're like super worn. But you can find these pretty cheap now. I, I knew they're probably like a thousand bucks. So let's pull these last two pairs out. This crate was incredible. The great crate. I hope you guys like that intro scene. I had a lot of fun with that. We have two, not, there's stickers on the front, non-branded boxes. Now let's play a guessing game. I'm gonna look right into the camera and try to feel what we have. This is a Jordan 4. This is a Jordan 4, is that a Silky Toe? Silky Toe Jordan 4? Is it Black Hat 4? No. Yo! I was not expecting that. This is a friends and family Travis Scott brown pair. Request, you outdid yourselves. Dude. That's an insane pair. I've never had these in hand, I don't think. Maybe at like Project Blitz or something, but dude, these are so hard to come by. This might, I don't even see this. This is not even on. Okay, so there, there's a brown olive one. Oh, this is an olive one. And this is a, a different version, similar, but this is white, it's $40,000. What in the world? $25,000 to buy these right now. This box is way over $100,000. This is insanity. Yeah, this is a different one that has tan here, and this is arguably better. No, this is just a totally different colorway. This, this one's not even on there. I can't even find this pair. That's insane. This is a easy $30,000 shoe. What size is this? This is like a nine and a half. Size nine. Oh man, but I'm just basking in it. This was on top of this. Now, are they doing something where they're putting the craziest pair on the bottom? Oh man. I don't know, it, we've done this before. We like hype it up and it's like a normal pair under there. Which would be fine, because that's insane, as like even if a finale, but I don't, should I do the guessing game again or what? One more time. One more time. Let's just feel, let's just feel. Is it another Jordan 4? No, that's an SB. I think I know what this is. Oh. I don't know what this is. I thought it was a what the dunk, but it's not. It's an SB with, there's like embossing on there. Nick, do you know like a shiny toe SB with embossing? I'm gonna pull these out. We have, Oh, the Day of the Dead Nike SB right there. That orange is crazy. This is a size nine and a half Day of the Dead, and it comes with another pair of laces. Check those out. I have no idea what these even at. Seven, eight K. Wow. Look at the bottom of these brand new dead stock. Finding dead stock SBs like this is so difficult. Size nine, seven thousand five hundred dollars right now. Last sale, four thousand dollars. And these ones came out. These were in two thousand and six. January 1st, 2006. Holy. Let's cut to some behind the scenes footage and then putting this together and see how it went. All right, hey, you gotta catch it. All right, I got it. I got it. You got it, you got it, you got it. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Catch it. Come on. 
Okay, oh my god! Yo, I wish they would have seen what just happened. One LV Air Force. Done. Oh, shit. What else we got up there for my boy? Another LV Air Force. <laughs> Why'd you turn your head? I didn't want to hit me in the face. <laughs> <Yes>. Yo. <laughs> yeah, size eight. We got a little blue LV Air Force. We got a little metallic LV Air Force. We got a little, you know what I'm saying? White mid top Air Force. Shh. Going into the box. No, we get now. Bro, how long have you been up there? Bro, like 10 minutes. He said, how long? 10 minutes. You've been up there for we 10 minutes? We're on Meerkat. Oh my god, is that a dead stock UZ2 Red October? What size? What size 13 we got? and 10. 13 and 10? Harrison can probably fit a 10. Go ahead, give me that 10. I'm not afraid. Dead stock, throwing it in the box. It's gonna be one of the ones right here. It's gonna be a real mystery box. Dior action, we got a pure platinum UZ2. We got DB Low up here. A DB Low, I don't know why the heck that is up there. DB Dunk Low, yeah, you can grab that. Oh my god, these are so hard. Size 10, these run big. This one's gonna have a field day wearing these. Oh my god! Dead stock complex con? Y'all wasn't there. Back in the day, I spent all of Request's money buying uh, Complex Con Air Forces, and at the time it was a whole 5,000 bucks. And I was so scared. I was like, what if I can't sell these? 10. Nah, same. Wait, this is like. At least $1,000. I mean, it gotta be somewhere around there, you know what I'm saying? Like. How much is this shoe again? Man, I don't, I don't know. I think this is like 500 bucks. Yeah. It's a. Uh, you said the box of the Travis? Yeah. Try in a box. Oh, okay. Yeah, we gotta go down. Travi Patty. Drone 4. Very serious business. I believe that might be it. I gotta add it up. See if it's enough. Might not be enough still. So about Sorry. to see. Then we can let them rock out. 100,000. Yeah, I go to the gym seven days a week. I'm always productive. I wake up early at 6 a.m. Oh. I get to it. This man is lying, your honor. This is how you open a $100,000 mystery box right here. Oh, oh you broke it. Crazy, bro. Hundred thousand dollar mystery box. Stupid. Just put a thousand pairs of panda dunks in the mystery box. What else? We good? I don't think we're close. And this is the total mystery box. This has to be some of the best variety we've ever had in a mystery box. Shout out request. If you guys don't know, when we do these big expensive mystery boxes, a lot of the times these stores will let us bring them for a showcase. So we will be giving these pairs all back to them. We get to showcase them for you guys, show a crazy mystery box. So shout out request for doing that and showcasing all these insane shoes. If you guys wanna check them out, they're in Perimeter Mall here in Atlanta, Georgia. They have an insane selection. When you go to stores, normally you'll see like a pair here, a pair there on the walls. The pairs that you see there, they have multiple sizes, which is really awesome. So definitely go ahead and check out requests. Shout out to them for making this happen. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Leave a like on this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Harrison, signing out.